Hello, I'm Marsha Ogden. Welcome to my podcast, Directory of a Dream Life 50 Plus. It's for anyone who's passed that milestone, like me by a long chalk, and who, like me, has realised that we could be on this earth for another 30 or 40 years. So let's make the best of it. Hello, hello. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. Welcome to episode 16 of Directory of a Dream Life 50 Plus podcast. This one's called Walking the Camino because I do practice what I preach, you know. I keep saying you should try new things. And this week I've walked from Lisbon through to Santarém in Portugal, which is the first 100 kilometres or so of the Camino de Santiago de Compostela. And as someone who has A, only done a few odd days walking in the Lake District in England in the past, and B, only ever carried a backpack full of shopping for about one and a half kilometres from the supermarket a couple of times, this was quite a big deal for me. But before that, here's the first of this week's handy hints. Here's a handy hint for you if you have any kind of skin condition. And this works for children as well. If you've been overexposed to the sun, like I was this week, or if you have psoriasis or acne or eczema, any skin condition, just massage in a little CBD oil or CBD cream and that will magically take away the redness and the soreness. For a good, reliable, reputable source of CBD, look at www.organicsecrets.co.uk Walking the Camino was hard, I won't deny it. And add to that the extreme heat and the direct sunshine that we were walking through. I mean, three of these, no, we had five walking days. Three of the walking days were 34 degrees, can you believe? So it was a bit of an endurance test, but we got there. So rather than having one guest interview this week, whilst we were away, I asked my two friends, Jane and Jane, if they'd mind me recording one of our chats over dinner. They didn't, and they can both talk for England. So prepare yourself for a little bit of live conversation. There's all sorts of noises in the background because we were sitting outside a restaurant and it was a very hot night and there were passers-by, there was a concert going on in the square just a few yards away but I think we squeezed all of the conversation in just before the band struck up. Enjoy. So girls why are we here? Mm. Well I walked the Camino last year um, at the encouragement of my brother-in-law who'd done several different Camino walks And I was so enthralled by it that I wrote a blog about it. And both Marsha and Jane read it. And you were similarly enthused by it. And so we decided we'd plan a trip for ourselves. Yeah. Mm. It's it's amazing because when when you mentioned to me you'd been on the Camino, I'm just saying, oh, yeah, yeah, I've read your blog. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Mm. I had no idea what the Camino was. Mm. and every, it's one of those things where then once you've said you've heard about it and you've said oh, I'll do that just because I'll go to the opening mm. of an envelope really mm. but <laughs> I just thought oh why not but as soon as I, I knew about it everyone's talking about it oh the Camino oh yes I've been there or mm. oh my brother's been there or oh which French or Spanish and I'm thinking mm. what what mm. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but we're in Portugal we, mm. we, we started walking from Lisbon which apparently is the least of the least walked the, the least mm, walked mm, Camino route mm, isn't it mm, because mm. a lot of people walk from Spain a lot of people walk from France mm. we're walking from Portugal but they all end up 
in uh, Santiago. The, yeah, mm. um, Santiago de Compostela, Compostela. Mm-hmm. which we're not going to reach this time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah. No, 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 in a week, no, no, not no, in seven days. No. No. So how, lo- how long would it take to, to reach um, Santiago from Lisbon? Well, I think that it would take us at least four to five trips of a week at a time. Right. Yeah. Right. We can yeah. do it. We can do yeah, it. We'll get we're old, but we're not that yeah. old. We're yeah. going to be here for another four to five years, I'm mm. sure. Mm. Mm. Well, the lady in the in the hostel where we stayed last night in Alpreti said mm. that the oldest lady she'd had staying at her mm. hostel, who was walking all the way from Lisbon to Santiago, was 90 years old. Oh so my. I think we've got plenty yeah. of time. Yeah. 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 Oh my mm. goodness. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. I think the nice thing about it is that it isn't a race. It's not a competition. Um, you don't have to go do it quickly. Mm. Um, so we've met people who are really, really slow walkers, as I am. And you just get to where you get to, and then you stay the night and you mm-hmm. carry on. And yeah. it's just about. Yeah. Taking it at your own pace, really, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. what you get from it. I mean, we've just finished our second day of six days of walking, mm. and what I think is interesting as well is you think, oh, I'm going away for a week with the girls, and we do have plenty chat time, mm. but just because of the natural flow and the different paces that we walk at, we all end up walking on our own, mm. and so you do get lost in your own head as well. True. And a lot of people come away, even if they're not religious or spiritual, naturally, they they come away with a much deeper sense of knowledge of themselves, I suppose, mm. and, and what life's all about. How and, often and, uh, do you have time on your own? You yeah, never have yeah. time on your own. I never have time no, on my own. No. I'm always flitting from one thing to another and, and looking after everybody else and making sure that everybody else is okay. Yeah. So actually, yeah. to have... 10 minutes mm-hmm. when you don't have to think about anything yeah. all you're thinking about is one step in front of the other yeah. and, and yeah. where yeah. where are we getting mm-hmm. to today and yeah. what's going to what's going yeah. what we're going to find there and yeah. what's it going to be like and where we're going to be staying and yeah. you know it's yeah. just an, it's so much of an adventure yeah. from that perspective yeah. Yeah. that yeah. you you know that's that's part of the pleasure it's really small pleasures mm. that you enjoy isn't mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. yeah and appreciating what you've got because you're carrying everything that you own in your backpack and your rucksack and i've brought i only brought what i thought was the bare minimum mm. but it's too much mm. I've, I'm not going to use half of what I've brought, and I've only brought one change of clothes. Mm. I don't mean a <laughs> smell or anything, because we do shower every day mm. and we wash our clothes out. But it just makes you appreciate how little you, you can need. survive on, mm. and how little you actually need. Mm-hmm. And we're not even eating and drinking because it is 34 degrees. We should add, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Hot. we're hardly eating. Well, we are drinking. Because um, oh. we've all got one of the best inventions ever, haven't we? Yeah. In our rucksacks, yes. yeah, we've got mm-hmm. a, um, a water bladder that, mm-hmm. that comes up with a tube through a little mm-hmm. hole, and you can just suck away at this drink whenever you want. One of the best inventions. So we are drinking, but we're hardly eating at all mm-hmm. until like this evening. Mm-hmm. What have I had to eat tonight, girls? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very brave, Marsha. Octopus. Yep. I wouldn't have touched it. <laughs> I tried it. It was very nice. It didn't look very appealing from my perspective. Well, it was very pretty on the plate, wasn't it? Was it was very but pretty on the yeah, plate. It was not very flavoursome, but a nice texture. And it was it was just different. And I can mm. say I've eaten octopus mm. now. And mm. then the pudding was called something Molotov. Molotov. Yeah. And it was like, if you've ever had cinder toffee, it was like a mousse cinder toffee or soggy cinder mm. toffee because and we're in a, a very traditional Portuguese restaurant mm. and what's it called this place of, not, it's uh, called Cabeca del Tos and the, the town we're in is oh, Vila Franca Vila Franca yeah. Yeah. Vila Franca, yeah. Um, I think that's the nice thing about the Camino that you come through um, uncommercialised areas mm. um, and also the fact that you're walking in the paths of other pilgrims that have walked the same path for hundreds of years and probably thought about the same things that mm. we're thinking of, they're taking time out. Mm. Sometimes it's because of religious beliefs, but sometimes it's just about your own spirituality and that sort of thing. And it's a bit like Jane was saying that when do you have the time to mm. actually 
contemplate things like that mm. um, in our busy world. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like you said, that's, that is the whole point of the Camino, isn't it? Mm. And it's just amazing that people in this day and age, a day, a, an age when everybody wants everything 24-7, instant, you know, 24-hour delivery, mm. same-day service, mm. and... You know, if you text someone five minutes later, well, they've not text back. How mm, rude! Yeah. Yeah. Everything's immediate, mm. and so it's it's doubly nice mm. that you get the chance to do this and at your yeah. own pace. And how fascinating! So last night we had a meal with a woman from New Zealand mm. and a woman from Canada, yeah. Yeah. and they'd come on their own, single women, to do this. I mean, we thought we were having an adventure, but I mean, just imagine how far yeah. they travelled. Yeah. 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 And they were quite, yeah. quite happy to walk alone yeah. as well. Mm, mm. And yeah, and, and it was nice that we hadn't met these women before, but we stayed in a hostel where we have no auberge. choice. And, mm. um, no, not auberge. What do they call it? Because auberge is French. What do they call it? Au- ob- ob- Oh, oh, bur- oh, bur- yeah, yeah. Mm. We'll find the word. We'll find the yeah, word. Yeah, we'll find the word. <laughs> <laughs> Our Portuguese, Portuguese is terrible. <laughs> no, oh, we're we, best. Keep, we keep apologising and just saying thank you. Obrigado. Yes, obrigado. <laughs> Bom dia. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and the fact that we sat down in this little cafe to have our meal and another lady wandered in on her own and we could see she was in walking gear. So oh, come and join us. Mm. And then there's another lady already reading a book who sort of looked up and said, oh, are you on your own? Come mm. and join us. Mm. So it was and a, when do you ever do that? Exactly, in yeah. Your yeah. everyday life. Yeah. yeah. And it just and it enhanced our evening. Mm. We yeah. hope it enhanced their evening. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they might have been thinking, who are those yeah. three lunatics from Manchester? Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Mm. But the, the other thing we noticed as well is that and I suppose it's just because it's this time of life, most of the walkers are quite elderly. Mm. I suppose because they are retired mm. and they've got the time or they've got the money to Older. come over. Mm. But you think mm. of old people as not being very fit. Oh, my goodness. Mm. They, they set off at a pace, don't they, with mm. the walking poles mm. and, the, mm. and the boots. Mm. and Yeah, mm. it is an amazing experience. And it's mm. not about how fit you are. Mm. It's about how resilient you are mm. yeah. and yeah. how committed yeah. you are mm-hmm. and how much in the confidence you've got. Mm. It's a psychological mm. journey mm. Yeah. as much of a, as a physical yeah. journey. Because yeah. some yeah. people it's can't be in their own head, can yeah. they? Whereas yeah. this is very much about being mindful yeah. and being of the moment. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 And, and it's nice walking together as friends because you, you talk, you get time to talk about things that... You've seen during you're the just, day, yeah. yeah. Mm. And you, all things oh. that, that you're just not, you wouldn't normally talk about mm. because you mm. don't get time or, mm. or because, oh, well, you mm. know, I didn't, I felt a bit awkward mm. bringing that up. That You've time to mm. just you spill can talk your about heart anything. out. And when you've stayed in a 10 bedded mm. hostel with a group of complete strangers, you can't. Snoring and yeah. 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 making yeah. bodily function yeah. noises. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Although they weren't too no, bad they last night, bad. were they? They weren't too bad. But I was yeah. just you, Marsha. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It was, it's amazing. But we've been really fortunate with where we've stayed up to now, haven't we? Because we've had a roof terrace yeah. of our own. Yeah. Tonight we're in a three-bed um, room, yeah. in a also in a hostel, but very civilised place. It's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. The, the, de- the, the buildings are so old and detailed and this beautiful, beautiful. tiling and, mm, yeah. and the, just the colours. Real sense of... History and mm. character. Yeah. Mm. And going back to what Marsha was saying about not needing very much, um, we're following a, um, we've got a guidebook for the Camino uh, written by John Briley and he, it's entitled The Practical and Mystical Manual for the Modern Day Pilgrim. So it's not just about how you find places, it's about what you're thinking mm. on the way. And his take on Marsha's carrying very little in a rucksack is. There are two ways to get enough. One is to continue to accumulate, and the other is to desire less. There you go. Yes, yes. yes. And yeah. I've, I've already got the feeling that when I go home, I'm having a mass declutter. <laughs> yeah. 
because I don't need anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just start living out of my rucksack. <laughs> you need a new hairbrush because she's lost. I've lost my hairbrush. Yeah. I've lost my hat. Yeah. yeah, and we're only on day two of the walking. <laughs> but we, we it's lightening my load. Yeah, it's exactly. lightening my load. But it's good fun, isn't it? Because like we've got packs of sweets and every time we eat a pack of sweets we think well that's less to carry mm-hmm. and we're sharing yeah. toiletries mm-hmm. and things like that yeah. so we yeah. just we've just brought what we needed yeah yeah mm-hmm. but it's still heavy mm-hmm. i'm definitely going to do mm-hmm. less mm-hmm. next time mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. today on day two i've got the knack of carrying my rucksack without it feeling like a burden so i'm, I'm mm-hmm. very pleased with that progress mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. another really satisfying thing um I'm only here for the weekend, I'm talking about busy lives, I've squeezed it in and very grateful that I've been able to, but Jane and Marsha are, are walking for three, two more days after I leave um, and you walk yourself fitter and it's, a, it's mm. that satisfaction of thinking mm. I feel better today than I did yesterday and mm. whether that's because you're fitter or because you've more knowledge about how to carry your pack yeah, yeah, or yeah. you can mm-hmm. put your plasters on your feet yeah. better yeah. or yeah. whatever it yeah. is it's just that learning of, um, of what how you can improve yourself mm. you know yeah. and how you can improve yeah. your life and just small and that's the thing it's the small things tiny footsteps mm. that you make changes don't try and eat the whole elephant mm. just mm. you know make small yeah. changes to your life and it makes things better yeah, exactly. conscious changes yeah yeah and it's not all going to happen at once is it mm. no mm. no but yesterday we had it was our first walking day and it was red hot it was 34 degrees tell us about the white road jane <laughs> <laughs> jane was ready to expire yesterday well, we had a lovely morning skirting the environs of um lisbon and then we set off and it was it was fine, but sort of from one o'clock onwards, it was getting hot and hotter and hotter and hotter, and we just got onto this white road where the heat just seemed to be Dusty reflecting road. back mm. onto you, and you'd see this long stretch in front of you, and I just kept looking and thinking, well, Jane, you never know what's around the bend. More white road. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you never know. Oh, and it's more white road. And it just went on. We were in this kind of valley. The sun was just pounding down. There was no shade. We found ourselves just finding little spots of shade, of shade among bamboo where we could sit. Yeah. You wouldn't dream yeah. of sitting there. On a normal day, you no. wouldn't dream of sitting. Let all. alone lying in it, which we did. We yeah. just like, <laughs> we all laid down. Point. It was like yeah. twigs and yeah. grit and yeah. dirt and soil. And we were like, we're happy here. We're really happy. We're just going to lie here. Yeah. <laughs> but then, but then <laughs> the problem was, how do we get up? Yeah. 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 But, we did, but we yeah, did. But we did. Resilience, mm. perseverance, determination. Mm. Where did it go? Mm. Yeah. And then we got to um, the, the next town, didn't we? Grandcha. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. We, we sat, we just sat at the first bench that we could possibly sit on, exhausted. And Jane went and was a scout for where's a, possibly somewhere where we can get a drink or somewhere to sit down properly. So Jane walked 20 paces yeah. and then a face just lit up just like that. <laughs> it's here. Yeah. So we walked around the corner into this air-conditioned bar, bar. Yeah. <laughs> um, that you would probably walk past a million times, you know. Yeah. Sat yeah. under the air-conditioning yeah. yeah. unit. Yeah. Yeah. And we all had the best Kilipo of our lives. Yeah, mm. Which adults do you know by a calico? Mm. <laughs> I've never had one since. Mm. <laughs> well, right. yeah. I don't think I've ever had bought one for myself. Lime nectar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. lime and lemon. Gorgeous. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then that gave us the the extra boost to what the ex- yeah. to the next mile to our yeah. abode, yeah. which was also we were filled with trepidation because this um, alberge, which isn't called an alberge, which Marsha will um, yes. let you know what's called later um only you couldn't book and it had 10 beds it was a dormitory and it was first come first served we rounded the corner and this young girl she must have been nine years old eight or nine years old was very encouraging saying over here over here (laughs) 
Little did we know she only wanted to sell us her beads that she'd mm. made. But anyway, she pointed us to this hostel um, and we walked in and the lady said, how many? And we said three. And she said, there are only four beds left. Yeah. Well, wow. <laughs> they all nearly <laughs> hugged her yeah. and each other. <laughs> I don't know what we would have done. Yeah. Well, Jane, Jane had promised us a four-star hotel with a swimming pool if we could get in. But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. we managed to get in, which yeah. was marvellous. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So we're, hope, we're planning tomorrow. We're just finishing a really nice meal. Like we say, we've, we've had, I think, possibly very Portuguese fare tonight. Mm, yes, we've had a fish, yeah. unpronounceable yeah. Grilled, but yeah. beautiful yeah. fish. Jane's had a prawn and bean bean stew. Bean stew. Mm -hmm. I've had the octopus. Yes. We've all had a very nice... Mm. Well, no, you didn't have a pudding, did we? we Jane mm. and I had a pudding. Mm. We've all had a lovely, very strong coffee. We'll probably be up all night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, we're all set now for a good night's sleep. And same again tomorrow, but mm. different scenery. Mm -hmm. That's You can't say it's not been varied. Because mm. we've, we've been on... Walking through a city, yes. We've walked through, through. bamboo shoots mm. in a white dusty road. <laughs> we've walked along the, the river. Yeah, boardwalks. Boardwalks, yeah, railway yeah. line. Yeah. We have, at one point, you have to go in the train station, yeah. up over <laughs> the platform <laughs> and yeah. down yeah. and out the other side. Following the little yellow Follow, arrows. Always following little yellow arrows. Yes. That's mm. the tricky bit. You've mm. got to you, you get chatting. You've got to keep your eye mm. out for these little yellow caminos. Then it all all at different Arrow. eye level, eye level yeah, yeah. on the ground, yeah, on the yeah. side, yeah, yeah, on the side of the road. But it's it's great fun, and we're very much looking forward to tomorrow mm -hmm. when we're going to. Well, as Ma Ma Marcia <laughs> said, we were going to <laughs> Azerbaijan, <laughs> but I think that's a little bit optimistic. We're actually going to we're going to Azambuja. Azambuja, yes. yes, it sounds very similar. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Where, unfortunately. I then have to get a taxi back to Lisbon Airport mm. along the whole road that I have travelled. It's another song about that, I think. Mm. <laughs> lots of things, <laughs> lots of things that we've said that have reminded us of songs. Um, to Lisbon Airport mm. to go home on Sunday night to be back in the rat race mm -hmm. on Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can't. I keep. I can't envisage that it's Saturday evening today mm. as it's yeah. mm. they all blur into one don't mm. they mm. Yeah, you yeah. forget yeah. time don't yeah. you know? but yeah looking yeah. forward to what tomorrow mm. has got to bring mm. Mm. yeah yeah. so maybe we'll do a part two at yes. the end of the why not, of, the, why not? of our Camino yeah <laughs> And, and that's I think that's the thing, isn't it? It's, it's your, your own community. community. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, And our, all the locals as they're passing to see you with your backpacks on, yeah. they always go, Bon Camino. Yeah, that's right. Which is yeah. nice. Yeah. 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 So, but I think you're right. I think it's about I think it's about sharing time with others, but then having time to yourself time too. Yourself. It's a lovely yeah. combination, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. 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 And basically, you're doing what. Like you said, Jane, you're doing what you want to do, mm. which in these days in life, it's rare. Yeah, it is. You, that you spend your time doing, you know. And you don't feel guilty no? about having yeah. me time. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Right, so drink up, girls. We need our bed. Yeah. Because we, <laughs> we need to get our feet working again for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so until part two, hopefully, mm. if we don't, if we're not dead by then. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, girls. I hope you enjoyed that. And before I forget, that word that we couldn't remember was alberg. A L B E R G U E. The Portuguese auberge or hostel. As the week went on, we thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a shame that Jane couldn't stay with us. Um, yeah, all my friends are called Jane. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, one of my friends, as you heard, had to come back to Manchester for work reasons, which was a shame. But the other Jane and I had a thoroughly enjoyable week. If you have walked the Camino, whether it's the French Camino, the Spanish Camino or the Portuguese, I'd love you to let us know what your experience was. There is a link to add a recording in the show notes here, or you can just email me at marcia, M-A-R-C-H-I-A, at gurgleit.com.
gurgleit.com, G-U-R-G-L-E-I-T dot com. Let us share your experiences on here. Here's a handy hint that we learnt on our travels a little later on in the week. I think you'll like this one as well. Here's a handy hint that we picked up from one of our stopovers in Portugal at the Quinta de Burro. Jane and I were both struggling with our feet at the time. I had a very sore toe and Jane had a problem underneath her foot. And we were advised to take out the insole from our boot and to replace it with, wait for this, a lady's sanitary pad. You know, the very thin ones. Well, he said, they're adhesive underneath and they are absorbent on top. And it will give you a lot more room in your boot. And he was right. It sounds crazy. But I suppose you could use it for any footwear that was hurting you. Well, not flip-flops, obviously. But, you know, like, um, not just walking boots, your trainers, your winter boots, any closed-in shoe. So there you have it. Apparently, this came from the Portuguese military. Don't ask me how they discovered that that worked. The Directory of the Dream Life 50 Plus podcast is created and produced by me, Marsha Ogden, and it's available on several platforms. So please keep listening. There are links below in the show notes. And you can also follow me on Facebook. The page name is Marsha at Gurgle It, which is M-A-R-C-H-I-A at A-T, Gurgle It, G-U-R-G-L-E-I-T. Or you can have a look at the website, gurgleit.com. There are links below to the website and to the workshops and the journal. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, just drop me a line at marsha at gurgleit.com or leave a voice message on here with details of your topic. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time. P.S. Can you do a P.S. on here? Well, I've done it anyway. Don't forget to send in any hints and tips, life hacks that you want to share with us. Just record your voice message at www.anchor.fm forward slash ddl50 forward slash messages. I still can't say it. See you soon.